Hello everyone, I hope you all are good. Let's learn scratch with a key learner. So let's get started. In today's video, we will talk about the motion block. So let's see what is motion block and what are the type of blocks we have in it to it. So basically motion block is used to manage the movements, turns and the rotation of the sprite. It helps the programmer for all the movements, turns and rotation as I have already told you on the stage for the sprite. We cannot use motion blocks for the stage. The color of motion block is blue in scratch and we have total number of 18 blocks under the motion block. These motion blocks further categorize into two parts. One is stack block and second is reporter block. So stack block हमारे पास 15 है और reporter block हमारे पास 3 है. So let's see all these blocks one by one. So first of all move toward the stack block. These all are stack block. In ki shape aap dekh sakte rectangular hai aur aap in stack blocks ko use kar sakte with other code blocks which is available in scratch like controls, events, looks and many more we have. So aap in ko add kar sakte just because of the sh these shapes aap in ko add kar sakte either above or below of any other code block for performance of your program. Let's move toward the reporter block. Reporter block is just like a value as it only notifies the values. What kind of values? It can be number or it can be a string. They have rounded edges as it is visible to you. But yes, it, we cannot use reporter blocks like we were using the stack block. What I mean to say is, as you can see the shape of the reporter block, they are round and edges. So, you can use them in your programming, mein, but not above and below of the other code blocks, as we were using stack blocks. So, what can you do for that? Use these reporter blocks. I mean, ki value ko retrieve karte hain, jisse ham usko further programming mein use kar sakte hain. In ki values ko. To kya karenge? We use it to insert into the whole of other code blocks without changing its shape. So it doesn't change its shape when we use these reporter blocks with other code blocks. And yes, we use these code blocks into the other code blocks, not at the top and bottom of any other programming. So let's see one by one all the code, code blocks we have in motion block. So first one is move. So move step is used to move the sprite by the given number of steps. So here we have given them steps 10. We have not given these steps 10 but yes this is the by default value. And it moves, it moves the sprite for in forward direction where it is facing. So, जिस तरफ वो फेस कर रहा होता है उसी डायरेक्शन में वो मूव करने लग जाता है और उतने ही स्टेप्स मूव करते हैं जितने आप मेंशन करोगे दिस इज द वैल्यू व्हिच यू कैन चेंज आप चेंज भी कर सकते हो अपनी रिक्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से आप इसके अंदर अपनी वैल्यू दे सकते हो सेकंड इज टर्न सो हियर आप ये डायरेक्शन देख सकते हो इट विल टर्न दिस स्प्राइट टुवर्ड द राइट एंड दिस इज द बाय डिफॉल्ट डिग्री ऑफ वैल्यू you can change this degree of value as per your requirements. So basically turn is used to change the sprite direction to at the right by the degree of value given by the programmer. Here you can see again I'm talking about the turn block but this time the sign is the symbol of direction is different. So what it will do it will going to turn the sprite toward the left and on the basis of the value which you give here so you have to write down the degree of value if you want to change it write down if you don't want to change it if you want to keep the same degree of value you can let it be like this so it changes the sprite direction toward the left by the degree of value given by the programmer by default is its value is 15 as i have mentioned go to random so here what will happen it will move your sprite 
it will place your sprite to the random position. That random position will be picked at, at runtime randomly and it will going to place your sprite randomly at that position. We have one more. See, there is a drop down list. Here are drop down list. Mein do option hote hai. That is random position and the mouse mouse pointer so random position and the mouse pointer there are the two options available in the drop down list so if you talk about random position it will place the sprite x and y at some random position on the stage Wo random position aapko nahi pata, but it randomly pick any position of the stage and place your sprite over there and if you talk about the mouse pointer it will place a sprite in the position where we click on the stage so wherever you click on the stage with your mouse it will place your uh, sprite or your sprite will appear to that position of your stage go to x and y so here what we are telling with the help of this block we are saying that sprite please move to the x or y position which we have mentioned so here you can write down the x position and the y position for your sprite so your sprite will appear to that x and y axis on the stage whatever position you will mention glide glide helps to move the sprite with the pace you will mention here pace here i am talking about the speed so aapko batana hai ki glide movement karega par kis pace se karega kis speed se karega with the value which you will mention here the percentage of value agar aap value ko badhate jaoge iski speed slow dikha karega wo slow movement dikhayega but if you decrease the value like if we have one it will move quickly as compared to other increase or bigger numbers so go to sorry glide one sec section two random position it also have a drop down list which have two options random and the mouse pointer the concept will be same but here with the as we are using or talking about the glide so glide kya karega aapko movement dikhayega sprite ki Okay, and here random position se kya hoga? Randomly koi bhi position pick karega on the over the stage, and it will move your sprite to that random position. But but if you choose mouse pointer, mouse pointer ke through kya hoga? Wherever you click on the stage, okay, it will move your sprite to that point or to that x axis and the y axis. Glide one section two x and y. So here you can see that I want my sprite to move with the pace one. Here I have mentioned by default it is one. But if you want to change, up change kar sakte with the number of speed. The you can mention the value here accordingly. अब यहाँ पे section two x and y. तो इसमें आप बता क्या रहे हो कि glide move करो इस position पे off stage जो पोजीशन आप मेंशन कर रहे हो तो आप पोजीशन यहाँ पे आप खुद मेंशन करोगे एक्स क्या है और वाई क्या होगी तो जो पोजीशन आप मेंशन करोगे एक्स एक्सेस की और वाई एक्सेस की विद द हेल्प ऑफ ग्लाइड दैट स्प्राइट विल मूव टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पोजीशन ओवर द स्टेज एंड विद द पेस व्हिच यू मेंशन हियर सो यू कैन चेंज दीज वैल्यूज point in direction it is used to rotate the sprite in specified direction direction is specified by the programmer by default the value is 90 degree as you can see it is mentioned here but yes it is changeable you can change it apni requirement ke hisab se aap isko change kar sakte ho ki kitni rotation aap chahte ho iski to aap uti degree of value aap yahan pe apni requirement ke hisab se likh sakte ho we can rotate the sprite in 360 degrees in circle so here you can see point toward the mouse pointer so here it will going to again rotate the sprite in 
that specific direction where your mouse, mouse will going to point. According to your mouse pointer, it will going to rotate. Aapki sprite ki jo direction rotation hogi wo aapki mouse pointer ke according hogi. As we are not mentioning any value, so wherever you click on the stage, it will point to your sprite will move a point toward that position. Change X by. It changed the X position of the sprite by the value entered by the programmer. So, you can see that the value is by default 10, but you can change the X axis position of your sprite by using this code block. This code block tells you that the sprite is X axis, or we can say that the horizontal line is where it will perform, where it will give movement, or it will turn. So with the help of this X axis, you are basically monitoring the or managing the X axis, horizontal line. So on, or on horizontal line where the sprite will stand, do perform something. X here means the horizontal position. So we, you are just taking care of the horizontal position of your sprite. Set X2. Here with the help of set X2 we can we want to fix the X position of the sprite, we use set X. So here basically you are setting or fixing the value of X axis. So what value? Here I am talking about the X axis position of the sprite. So you can fix that yeah, this, yes, this is the fixed value. Ye fix aap ek value kar sakte ho apni X axis ki sprite ke liye. Change Y by. It changes the Y position of the sprite. Jo bhi aap value hai doge, uske accordingly, wo Y ki position, Y axis ki position change kar dega aapke sprite ki. This is the by default value, but you can change its value. Y me, yahan pe matlab hai vertical positioning of the sprite. So you can change the vertical position of the sprite as per your requirement by setting the value here. You can change it using this code block. Set Y2. Here we are fixing the Y position of the sprite using this code block. Set Y2. If on edge bounds. If on edge bounds, kya karega when you move to the when your sprite move toward the edges and it when the moment it touch the edges, it performs something. What? It will perform, it will either turn or it will either rotate. So it checks whether the sprite is touching the edge of stage. If yes, then it will turn and point to the direction from where it just comes. So just direction se wo aay thi, sprite aap ki, usi direction where it will going to turn. Set rotation style. So there are three options available in the drop down list. First is do, don't rotate. I'm not talking in the sequence. These all are the three options available here. Don't rotate left, right, all around. By default, left, right is the option available in the left, right. By default, this is a by default value for the re set rotation style block. So what left, right will do? It will turn the sprite either right, right or either left. And if you talk about the don't rotate, don't rota rotate sprite will not turn, but the visual position of the sprite will change. So here basically you are telling the sprite that there will be no rotation now further. Left, right, you are telling movement that your sprite will left, right, that it will move to this left, right direction. And if you say all around, it points the sprite in direction it is facing and make the sprite turn on appear upside and down. So basically it will move the sprite upside and down in a circle. Let's talk about the reporter block. 
x position here it hold the sprite x axis position on the stage so basically we can also say that it contains the horizontal sorry horizontal position value of sprite on the stage it basically monitors the sprite horizontal position on stage y position it holds the sprite y axis position on stage or we can say that it contains the vertical positioning value of the sprite on the stage it basically monitors the vertical position of the sprite on stage direction hold the direction of the sprite on stage it direction block measure the direction of the sprite in degrees i hope you all like my video so if you like it please share it with your friends subscribe our channel thank you bye